Okay, just now we'll be talking about green serum and really show what green serum is all about and that is to change the closed loop integral into an inter in the double integral which is involving finding integrating a function over the area area d okay now it's really convenient so if i were to rewrite it again so the close the closed line integral or the closed loop integral okay of a certain factor function f okay with respect to dr where r describes the the closed loop c okay is equals to the double integral of d and we have this certain function over here which is the first partial derivative of g with respect to x take away the first partial derivative of f with respect to y okay and integrating over the area d so this is what brings function allow us to do now why why is it so useful well because sometimes okay and we note that for green's theorem c must be a simple close positively oriented piecewise smooth okay so if you just look at it the, the piecewise smooth aspect is just to say that if we got a certain function like this for example okay now we got a certain function like that now if we use the standard methods of finding the line integral you know that we need to find the line integral of this this and this and then we add them up okay however seeing that this is piecewise smooth and it is simply connected okay from piecewise smooth as in the smooth here is smooth here is smooth here we can immediately apply green's theorem okay given whatever function we want to calculate the the line integral of you know we just apply taking the first partial derivative so it's very useful okay let's just give, give a simple example so f is equals to x square i plus let's just say 2y 2xyj 2xyj okay and we're given a graph similar to that but i'm going to simplify the mathematics a bit by saying it's a uh, rectangle okay it's a rectangle over here now if you study thermodynamics you might get this as the work done or as the power produced by a certain engine okay i don't know but what we can see is that this is a closed loop okay as you can see it's a closed loop okay it's piecewise smooth and it's positively oriented so we, we want to find the line integral of the certain function f over this thing over here this closed loop over here like this okay and it's difficult now how we do it is that we can really write this right okay and then we can find the close the, the line integral of all the different pieces now that would involve finding the position vector r okay of all the individual pieces like so from here to here from here to here from here to here from here to here now this is a rectangle so it's quite easy to find the position vector okay you can get it as a function of a certain parameter and then you can do the simple algebra as we got the function x y okay and dx plus the function g x y and d y is that correct yep i think so okay yeah correct so you got you got this certain thing here like this now you can do that and you know you, if you, if you want to you could however knowing that it's a closed loop it's simply um it's a simply a closed loop closed positively oriented okay such as here and piecewise smooth okay piecewise smooth we can immediately apply green's theorem okay and it's much easier it simplifies the thing a bit because really it reduces the problem of finding the first partial derivatives okay and integrating taking the double integral so what we do is that first integral of g divided um, with respect to x partial g partial x minus partial f partial y is equals to okay this one would be g so we will differentiate this holding x y as fixed okay that will be two so you're holding your y as fixed that will be give us two y take away uh partial f okay with respect to y holding x as fixed okay now y is here so basically so y there's no y so basically this is zero so this is equals to two y and so we can just immediately say that the closed loop integral okay a function f with respect to the curve c represented by position vector dr is simply taking the double integral of area d and evaluated as 2y okay yeah taking double integral of the function 2y over the area d okay and that is fair enough it's easy enough okay we just simply split it up to dy dx okay which let me check it would be yeah 0 6 and 0 4 so 0 6 0 6 dx okay 0 4 2y dy using a certain 
theorem, if I can recall, that if it's a certain rectangle, you can able to split up the, the, the two integrals, okay? So that is just really what Green's theorem is about. Now we have not merged into the space of, of 3D, three dimensional space, we are still sticking into a plane, and Green's theorem, as you can see, the complexity is already quite intricate, okay? I mean the level of thinking is quite uh, complex, but just know that Green's theorem is that when we're given a closed loop like this, we can immediately find by doing the mathematics over here. Now, doing the mathematics over here and taking the double integral. Now, I must say that studying this subject, the link between the double integral and Green's theorem is not so very clear, okay? So how I would like to look at Green's theorem is really an easier way of calculating. I think that's a way that, well certainly for me, that's a way that I should look at it. It's an easier way of calculating because, you know, it's very difficult to um, relate the area D over here with the first partial derivatives, you know, it just doesn't make sense. There is no clear connection, okay? Bearing in mind that we are taking DG, which is the second one, with, res with respect to, to X over here, the partial G, partial X. So, just look at Green's theorem as an uh, easier way of doing the calculation, okay? And if you can identify, just look and identify, you know, there is a closed loop, okay? Positively oriented, piecewise smooth, okay? The physics part, leave the physics one side, just deal with the mathematics part, okay? It's a closed loop, piecewise smooth, and then apply Green's theorem, okay? So it's as easy as that, Green's theorem, just a simple application, okay?